Here's the big challenge of life. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. That's the challenge. And of course, the other side of the coin reads, unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you got. I have found in my experience that income does not far exceed personal development. Now, sometimes income takes a lucky jump. But sure enough, unless you grow out where it is, it'll usually come back where you are. Life has strange ways. If somebody hands you a million dollars, best you become a millionaire quickly. So you get to keep the money. Otherwise, sure enough, it'll disappear. Somebody once said, if you took all the money in the world, divided it up equally among everybody, it would soon all be back in the same pockets. Incredible. Success is something you attract, not something you pursue. Success is looking for a good place to stay. So instead of going after it, you work on yourself. Personal development. See, the major question to ask on the job is not what are you getting. The major question to ask on the job is what are you becoming? See, the big question is not what am I getting paid here. The big question is what am I becoming? here because true happiness is not contained in what you get happiness is contained in what you become now here's the first lesson of economics everybody should learn it from the time they're old enough to understand what a dollar means how to earn one how to get one how to keep one what to do with it first lesson of economics we primarily get paid for value that's lesson one Bringing value to the marketplace, that's how you get paid. You don't get paid for the time. I know it takes time to bring value to the marketplace, but you get paid for the value, not the time. Now, since that's true, here's one of the key questions of the evening. Is it possible to become twice as valuable at the marketplace and make twice as much money in the same time? Could you become three times as valuable? Make three times as much money in the same time? Is that possible? The answer is yes, if. And it's always if, right? Life is known as the big if. Harry Truman once said, life is iffy. How true. And here's the big if we're going to consider it tonight. It's possible to do much better at the marketplace if you go to work primarily on yourself. People have asked me for the last 24 years, how do you develop an above average income? And the answer is become an above average person. Develop an above average handshake. Some people want to be successful. They don't even work on their handshake. As easy as that would be to start on. They let it slide. They don't understand. Develop an above average smile. Develop an above average excitement. Develop an above average interest in other people. Develop an above average intensity to win. See, that'll change everything. Probably one of the most frustrating experiences in life is looking for an above average job with above average pay without becoming an above average person. It's called frustration. And Mr. Shelf gave me probably the greatest clue he gave me when I first met him. He said, Jim, if you want to be wealthy and happy the rest of your life, just learn this lesson well. He said, Learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. For things to change for you, you've got to change. Otherwise, it isn't going to change. And whether I'm talking to high school kids or business executives, my message is always the same. And it goes like this. The only way it gets better for you is when you get better. And see, that's how life gets better for you. Not by chance, but by change. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. 
See, that triggered my whole life change. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenge. Wish for more wisdom. That's the key. Take full responsibility for what happens to you. It's one of the highest forms of human maturity, accepting full responsibility. It's the day you know you've passed from childhood to adulthood, the day you accept full responsibility. And another note, learn to reap in the fall without apology. Without apology, if you do well, and without complaint, if you don't. That's maturity. It's not what happens that determines the quality or the quantity of your life. It's not what happens. And the reason is because what happens happens to about everybody. No different. The sun went down on all of us last night. A common event, a happening. And I found out that the same things can happen to two different people. One gets rich and one stays poor. Why is that? It's because it's not what happens, but rather it's what you do that changes everything. So that's a key phrase. It's not what happens, it's what you do. What happens is about the same. You might put that in parentheses here. Same. What people do, that's what's different. Somebody says, yeah, but you don't understand the disappointments I've had. Come on. Everybody's had their share. Disappointments are not special gifts reserved for the poor. Everybody has them. The difference is what you do about them. It's not the weather. I used to blame the weather, and I discovered it rains on the rich. So see, that won't help. Two men wake up one morning, there's a rainstorm on. One of them looks out his window, sees the rainstorm, and he says, Wow, what a storm. With weather like this, they can't expect you to go out and make sales. He stays home. <laughs> Same morning, the other guy looks out his window, sees the same storm, says, Wow, what a storm. But he says, you know what, with weather like this, what a great day to go out and make sales. Most everybody will probably be home, especially the salesman. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the difference in how your life works out. It's not what happens, it's what you do. So here's one of the key questions of the evening. Starting tomorrow, what are you going to do that'll make a change in your life's direction? Good question. What are you going to do starting tomorrow that'll make a difference? Now see, if you don't do something starting tomorrow that'll make a difference, guess what? It's going to be the same. <laughs> and see, that way you can guess what the next five years are going to be like. Look at the last five. Because the next five are going to be like the last five unless you, major key, tomorrow, change it all. Or change a little or change something, or don't change, it's choice time. You can do whatever you want. But it's nice to know any day you wish you can change your whole life. What can you do starting tomorrow that'll make a difference? Good question. What can you do with economic chaos, massive disappointment? What can you do with a broken heart? What can you do when it won't work? Good question. So if I had a word with you tonight, one-on-one, -on -one, just you and me, I think my personal advice to you would be, reach down inside of you and come up with some more of those remarkable human gifts. They're there, waiting to be utilized. And then change anything for you you want to change. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. If you don't like how it is for you, change it. If it doesn't suit you, change it. If it doesn't please you, change it. If it isn't enough, change it. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. See, you don't ever have to be the same again after tonight, only by choice.
major step to human progress, discipline. If there's one thing to get excited over, that's it. Get excited over your ability to make yourself do the necessary things. What could you make yourself do starting tomorrow that would change it all? No, tell it. Now, see, that's exciting. On any given day, you can massively change the direction of your life. Murder is a clear example that any one person on any given day can forever alter the course of their life. It just happens to be a negative act. But just as sure as you can commit a negative act, you can also commit a positive act and forever alter your life whenever you wish. Now that's exciting. And whatever that act might be that changes your life. The guy finally takes a shotgun to his car and blows out every window, destroys every tire, puts a hundred rounds in this shabby old thing. And he says, I have driven this embarrassing thing for the last time. <laughs> and not only will I never drive it again, nobody else will ever drive it again. And he lets that shuddering thing stand there for a while as a monument to the day he said, today my life changes. Now who can do that? Anybody. When can you do it? Whatever day you pick. <laughs>